Welcome to Mars First Logistics. This is a physics-based sandbox game where you have to build various land rovers in order to transport cargo across the surface of Mars. And the reason why you're doing all of this to begin with is because you are trying to help the astronauts who recently landed on this planet, a place that they can finally call their new home. And I don't really know anything else about this game beyond that. I do know that this is a fairly recent release, because this game only came out on Steam like a week and a half ago. I think. I do need to mention, though, that the game is not in a finished state yet. It came out in early access about a week and a half ago. <laughs> so it is still in pretty early development at the moment, but there is a paid-for version that you can get right now for about $25. This is actually a fairly expensive game. <laughs> it's got some pretty good reviews so far, though. It has about 263 user reviews at the moment. That's the exact number, last time I checked but the user score is at 96% already. This is also the newest game from a developer whose work I have showcased on the channel previously. This is a brand new game from Ian McLarty. And if you've been following my channel for a while, that name might sound familiar to you because I have covered quite a few of Ian McLarty's games on my channel previously. He was also the developer behind games like Boson X, Dissembler, Jump Grid, and The Catacombs of Solaris. Uh, all four of which I've done videos on before. And I already knew that he had been working on this game for quite some time now, because I think he initially revealed Mars First Logistics way back in, like, 2021. So I've been aware of this game's existence for quite some time now, but up until this point, there was no playable version of this game that was available. So I was pleasantly surprised then when I saw that the game finally came out in Steam Early Access, I was a little bit surprised by the game's price as well, but from my understanding, this game is meant to be a lot more ambitious than pretty much any of the other titles that Ian McLarty had worked on previously. This is also the first commercial game that he has released under the name Shape Shop, which I'm given to believe is the name of the new indie studio that he recently established. I don't necessarily know if it's a one-man indie studio, or maybe he has more people that are working on this game alongside him. That could be a possibility. And given that this game seems to be way more ambitious than some of his previous projects, that might actually be the case here. Something else that I also found surprising was the publisher behind this game. Mars First Logistics was published by Outer Sloth. Yeah, so it turns out that Inner Sloth, the developers of one of the biggest indie sleeper hits of all time, Among Us, they are a games publisher now. <laughs> this is the first game that they have published under the Outer Sloth label, and I guess that's another direction that they're heading in now. They're also going to be publishing indie games from other developers now, I guess. Which I was very surprised to see for two reasons, because I initially thought that the game's publisher title was actually a parody of some sort, but it turns out, no, Outer Sloth was a label that was created by Inner Sloth themselves, and this game is technically being published by Inner Sloth, but just not under that name. But also, I think this is the first game from Ian McLarty that isn't being self-published, because he normally self-publishes a lot of his games, but... Not this time around, I guess. Again, I'm guessing that it's probably because this is a much more ambitious title that he's working on, and, I don't know, maybe he needs additional funds this time around? Regardless, I have wanted to check this game out for a very long time, and it only finally became playable just a week and a half ago, so... I'm ready to dive into this for a while, just check it out for a little bit and see what exactly is going on. I'm given to understand as well that the terrain in this game is procedurally generated, so every single playthrough you do of this game, or, or I guess every playthrough that anyone playing this game does, is not actually going to be the same as each other. It kind of seems like this is one of those things where everyone's going to wind up getting a different playing experience, but... We'll, we'll see how this goes. Surprisingly, this game does actually have controller support already. I am using my PS4 controller to play this, but... I don't know how exactly we're gonna fare when it comes to actually building the rovers, because I don't know if uh, using a controller is gonna be optimal for that. But we'll find out soon enough. Let's start the game here. Welcome to Mars First Logistics. Since this is your first day on the job, spend a little time getting familiar with your vehicle's controls. Okay, R2 forward, L2 reverse... 
Left and right analog stick for turn. Oh no, uh, R key is for the camera, actually. Okay, what is that tower doing? Why is that tower sending out a signal? Oh my god, okay, yeah. Does this control good? Uh, I would actually say yes. Oh my goodness gracious, kicking up a lot of dust here. <laughs> oh my lord, okay. Oh god, the dust is like obscuring the, the whole screen here. Okay, we zoom the camera in and out as well. Interesting. Reset vehicle, hold X to reset. Oh yeah, it just resets it s somewhere else. New contract watering can. Okay, yeah, I guess it, that's for when my whenever my rover gets stuck, probably. Share for the map. You have a new contract in your inbox. Accept it to proceed. Okay, watering can. From habitat to greenhouse, 0 0.9 kilometers, I get 30 dollars if I get the watering can over to the to the Martians, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. So I can actually see that on the map. Okay, so it's telling me to go there specifically. Okay, uh, just close this, I think. Oh, wait, actually, we can also zoom in the map as well. Oh, yeah, also brings out some of the finer details in the terrain, too. Okay, this is all pretty interesting so far. Okay, so let's go and, uh, is, is the logo actually gonna appear or the icon gonna appear? Yeah, it seems like it does. Follow the marker to collect your cargo. Well, I will say this. I already appreciate the cel-shaded visuals of this game for absolute sure. And actually, you know what this- you know what the visuals in this game kind of remind me of? They kind of remind me of Sable, in a way. If you guys remember when I played Sable, uh, earlier this year, back in February, honestly, the- the game's visuals do kind of remind me of that, actually. It's kind of like the same desert-like landscapes that I saw in Sable, and the same sort of, like, Mobius-esque cel-shaded art style as well. Yeah, that's kind of what this reminds me of. The, this this cel-shaded art style is kind of giving me, like, Mobius vibes right now. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but that's just, that's just what it looks like to me. Pick up the watering can. How do I do that exactly, though? You have a blueprint designed specifically for this job. Oh, I actually do? Okay, can I select it then? Uh, oh no, I need to press R1 to move over to it. Okay. Basic rover or watering can lifter? Okay, so I build this blueprint. Oh, it just builds it automatically. Okay, I don't need to do anything. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you can also build your own rovers as well in this game. I don't think it just gives you blueprints to like, to like build stuff immediately. So let me just close out of this. Yeah, your vehicle has a controllable part. Hold square to see its controls. Yeah, so I have like a little, a little like crane hand right here now, right? The servo motor, forward and reverse, R1 and L1. Okay, yeah, here we go. So let's see. Oh, there's also a photo mode in this game as well. Interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freak around with that for now though. Hang on a second. Hold up a minute. Carry the cargo to the drop-off point to complete the contract. Okay, so move this down. Move it in. Okay, hang on a second. I wanna get a I wanna get a better view of this. If you miss a mess up of delivery, you can reset it from the map. Okay. I don't think this is this this has to be like virtually impossible to mess up because oh look at that. Look at that. Human ingenuity is incredible, man. Okay, ho hopefully it doesn't fall off the, the, the crane, the crane hand, but I don't think it will. So where do I bring this? Over I'm gonna guess over to that arrow probably. Yeah, this is pretty interesting so far. Okay, I do like the way that the rovers control. Oh god, get out of the way of the rocks. Oh lord have mercy. Okay, watering can please. Hang on, get some air. That was not what you would call airtime whatsoever. I wanted to see if I could use that as a ramp, and as a consequence, I got obliterated. Okay, not a big deal. We're just gonna pretend like nothing, nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened here whatsoever. Oh my god, I'm pressing the wrong keys. Hang on a sec, or wrong button rather. There we go. Got it back. Let me just go on my merry way. Oh, there we go. It's locked in place, practically. Very nice. Okay, this is the greenhouse. Fast travel unlocked. Oh my god. Okay. First day, complete your first contract. I thought I got stuck in the, the bounding cube there for a moment. Okay, now you want me to bring you a crate, you say. Where is that? Oh god, it's all the way back over there. Okay, well, um, I can accept it. Yeah, you pay me $50. Unlocks the crate carrier. Okay. So let's go and do that then in that case. Um... Yeah, there's nothing that I could use to to pick anything else up, because it, it kind of seems like... 
yeah. I'm not gonna be able to use this- this hand for, like, picking up objects without handles. Cause that seems like this is what this was specifically designed for. Can I even go in the greenhouse? No, probably not. Okay, you want me to deliver a crate to the greenhouse, though, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go over here then, cause that's what you're telling me to do. Okay, wait a second. I genuinely want to try and get some air time here. I want to see if I could use one of these rocks as a ramp. Let's go. Time for some big air. Oh, goodness me. Okay, well, that was kind of... That was honestly kind of, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, very nice. That looked a little bit more spectacular. I was gonna say, that didn't look all that spectacular. That one kind of did, though, and I was able to recover. Okay, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I can already tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, because it seems like everything's physically simulated here. We discovered the storage depot. Yeah, we do have fast travel, so we can just, we can just, like, teleport to these locations and not have to, like, not have to, like, drive all the way there. But I kind of feel like driving is, is, like, half the fun, though. Because you just get to explore the landscape. Like, uh, actually, wait, what is that thing over there in the distance that looks like there, there's smoke coming out of it? What is that? That looks like some kind of factory of some sort. I want to go and investigate that later. Yeah, I really do like how the terrain kind of deforms as well, because it leaves behind, like, uh, yeah, tire tracks? I mean, I don't know if the tire tracks disappear after a while, if they disappear automatically. Oh my goodness gracious, what even was that jump? I didn't do that on purpose that time, I didn't even see the rock there. Okay, maybe they don't actually disappear, because it seems like they're, they're remaining there for quite some time, but anyway, I'm gonna stop getting distracted now. I promise. Okay, the crate is up there. H how are we gonna get it? It's situated on top of that, uh, that shelf right there. How are we gonna get to it? Pick up the crate, edit the vehicle. This is your inventory where all your parts are stored. Uh, oh, we, we can also change the colors on this as well. Okay, well, what colors do we have exactly? Oh, we have a lot. Okay, wait. Do I want to just color everything teal? Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. Just because... And, and I've mentioned this before, but you guys know that I really do like my teal colors, right? I like my combinations of blue and green. I very much do. So you know what? Let's just... Give it this color palette for now. Sure. What does this look like? Okay, yeah. I, I do kind of like the way that looks. Oh yeah, by the way, I do appreciate that you use the uh, British spelling of the word colors, because that's also how we spell it here in Canada. So, uh, thank you, Ian McLarty, for uh, using the correct spelling of that word, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have in our inventory. Below each part, you can see how many you own, excluding those currently on the vehicle. Completing contracts earns you funds. You can see your current balance here. Press square to buy new parts using your hard-earned funds. Copied sub-assemblies will be placed in the clipboard. Okay, sub-assemblies? What, what exactly do they mean by that? I actually don't know. So do we need to make this crane go even higher, I wonder? Or this claw, rather? Because how, how high up does this extend? It doesn't seem like... yeah, it's not anywhere near high enough, actually. Okay, so then, let's see what we can do about this here. Oh, I also noticed that all the different parts have weight on them as well. Uh... Oh wait, does it, does it say I already have two of these in my inventory? Okay, well wait, then maybe I don't actually need to... to, to buy more. Is it, is it saying that I already have some? Hang on a second. No, it is saying that I already have some. Okay, well, well then wait a minute. How about we remove this for a minute, attach a connector right here? Okay, wait, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna test something out here. Wait, I have two of these claws here. I could probably sell these as well, I would imagine. Because we just need to try and get, like, a bit of additional height here. I also don't know if this is gonna, like, upset the balance of the rover, though. Because, I mean, if I'm adding more weight to this, to this, to this, to this arm right here that I'm making on it. There's a chance this could cause it to tip over. I don't know. We'll see. Like, how high does this go? Yeah, there we go. Wait, where where is the shadow coming from? Oh, because the sun is setting. Oh, there's a day and night cycle in this game as well. Interesting. I j I'm trying to use the claw to, like, knock this off the, uh, off this, off the drawer, if I can. Oh, god, okay, yeah, see? This is what I kind of mean. 
Okay, wait, I don't want to do that. Oh, wait, I can rotate this all the way around? Oh, no. Okay, wait. I could so easily break it apart by doing that, and I don't want to do that. Ugh. I'm just trying to knock it off here. Oh, goodness me. Okay, wait. I, I might have gotten it stuck even more, actually. Oh, God. Okay, I really should not do that. Okay, well, there's only... Hang on. There's there's one solution to this that I, that I, that I kind of can figure out here. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, well... Yeah, but... Oh, okay, wait. What are, what are we doing here, bud? What are, what are we all doing here, guys? I mean, I basically just built the same thing, right? I mean, I'm basically creating like a, like a... What are, what are those things that they use in jousting? I don't remember what they're called. Can I attach rockets underneath this thing to like make it float? I wonder if that's something I can actually do later. We need to go higher. We need to go even higher, dude. Like, let's, uh... Okay, this could possibly work. I mean, could I also, like, stick it into the side of, of the crate as well? To try and, like, grab it? Grab it by that little handle? Maybe I could. Oh god, this... Okay, I don't know how I feel about this dust necessarily, because it really is, like, messing with my, my field of vision here. Surely I must be able to, like, fit this into this little gap right here. Unless it's too big. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to knock- I'm trying to just knock it off, basically. Well, actually, couldn't I make a build right here that effectively uses both of the claws? Because I have two claws here. Could I go for double claws? For some double claw action? I don't know. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna try and knock the crate off. That's- that's what I'll try and do, and then I can pick it up afterwards. There we go, I think. How did it spin back around into the center? Could you please? Could I please try to get this accomplished before nightfall as well? Oh, nope, that's... Oh, oh god, okay, wait a second, I'm also like... I'm about to knock the other crate off too. Hang on. I'm gonna do this. I will get this accomplished. Probably not even how I meant to do this in the first place, but I, I just wanted to see if you can get it done. Okay, there we go, we got it at least, but... Okay, now I'm going to attempt to pick you up, but I am going to actually remove all this stuff because I really don't need, like, that many. Okay, you know what? Just to make this look not completely stupid, I'll try and, uh, maybe, yeah, make some more connectors here if I can. Is this not gonna work? Oh, wait, no, because that's in the wrong place. You put it here, and then you use another connector. Yes. Oh, wait, this is tilted at an angle, though. Okay, wait. So then, hang on, remove this again. Uh, rotate? Oh, okay, yeah, this is- this is actually how they did it. Okay, wait. So, rotate like this. And then... Yeah, I think this will work. Attach it like that. There we go, I think... So, I mean, we effectively have two- two things that- Well, actually, this is also rotated as well. Yeah, this little piece right here is also rotated. Okay, so then... There, now we got double claws. And it actually looks aesthetically pleasing, too. I mean, look at- look at this here. Um... Oh. Only one of them actually rotates. <laughs> well, again, you, you can't fault me for having an imagination, okay? There- there's gotta be, like... Okay, yeah, it, it- because it's only attached to the left one, it doesn't cause the- the other one to rotate? Okay, maybe I actually need another servo motor in order for that to function correctly, but I don't have another one right now, and I need $160 in order to- in order to buy another one. You know what? I am just not even going to bother with this anymore. Let me just- let me just- here we go. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and figure this out here. Let me just grab you, please. Oh no. Hang on. Come back to me, bud. Okay, wait, this actually kind of works, though, somehow. Why does this actually kind of work? Okay, well, we can reverse. We can put it in reverse, and it actually does kind of kind of function a little bit. Kind of functions a bit. Oh, I completely lose control of where I'm able to steer, though. Okay, well, hang on. Let me, uh, oh my god. Okay, actually, wait, this does, this does work now. Wait, this actually works. I'm getting a lot of acceleration all of a sudden. Okay, frick it. Book it, man. Just book it. Book it all the way back to the greenhouse here. I don't even understand how this, this works at all. I don't know what this physics anomaly is. But sure, it works well enough. 
It works well enough. Here's your damn crate. Oh my god, I'm going off- I'm going off the- the- the track here. Oh my goodness. Get in the bounding box, please. There we go. Very nice. Funds earned 50. Blueprint unlocked, and oh my god, I got a lot of new parts as well. New contract, a crate of oranges. I need to fill the crate with oranges now. Okay, well I do see some oranges in the greenhouse. Okay, hang on a second. I need to get rid of this other frigging thing on the side because it just looks so silly and it doesn't even work anyway, so... Whatever, man. I just realized that I removed the wrong one. Oh, okay, I just removed all of them here. Okay, well, actually, wait, I can redo by pressing... Oh, oh no, I can undo, actually. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, wait, so, no, just, just remove that. And then... Put the claw on... Well, no, I think the claw needs to be on the left side, but it's just... This I want to remove. Okay, wait, why does it- why does it also remove the other thing? Okay, I think this was the thing that I attached to it originally. Yeah, I- I believe it was. Yeah, we're back to our- our original- our original setup here. Okay. So then, let me look at my map. Hang on, that's not the map. Crate of oranges. From greenhouse to construction site, one kilometer, pay seventy dollars. Okay. That's active now. Unless we're going to get a crate that's already full of oranges. Okay, no, we're absolutely not. The crate is already here. We just gotta bring it over? Okay. We can- we can- we can do this. I can do this. Oh god, we need to make sure not to spill it, though. I think this is gonna be too big for me to fit in. Yeah, I think- I think it will, actually. Okay, well- well, actually, I got another blueprint, though, don't I? I do. What is the- okay, so what is the other blueprint then? The crate carrier. Ooh, okay. What does this look like? Oh yeah, that's, those are some bigger claws right there. Some big boy claws, some big meaty claws. Okay, you know what, I'm not gonna bother coloring that for now because that's just gonna take too long. This vehicle has two controllable parts that can be operated independently. Each part is assigned to a different channel. Switch between channels using, uh, the, the D-pad. Left and right on the D-pad. These are hydraulic cylinders. Extend and contract. You can hold square to see the currently active channel without changing channels, okay. Okay, I think- I think I- I understand what you're trying to tell me here. Okay, so this is to lift it up. Yes? How far up does this go? Okay, not that far up. Okay, so let me just change the channel here. I want to- there we go. Very nice. So I'm trying to pick you boys up by moving you in between, yeah, in, in, in between the, the little claws right here. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's, that's like basically perfect. And then, whoop, okay. And then change the channel and then lift it upwards, which I think, yeah, we do with R1. Oh God, that orange, I don't trust the oranges, dude. Okay, wait, what is going on with the oranges? Why are they just like moving around on their own? What in the world? They're just rising out of the crate on their own, dude. Okay, well, let's just... You reset contracts from the map if you need to. Okay, well, let's just... Let's just take it slow, then, in that case. Just take it slow. Because I am deeply concerned for the health and safety of these oranges. Oh, God. Is it just like one of them falls out and... Okay, well... Is it just like one of them falls out and I failed... I failed the contract? Look, I'm- I'm gonna just keep going, okay? I'm gonna just keep going. Oh no, it's actually telling me that I need to go and pick up the orange. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Take the crate over first. I'll come back and try to pick up the orange with the- with the- with the hydraulic claws, okay? I'll come back to it. Construction site, fast travel unlocked. Okay, how you boys doing? I dropped one of your oranges, but I'm gonna come back for it, okay? Hold your horses, just relax, okay? No orange gets left behind. Oh my god, wait, what is that down there? What is- what is that building? That looks like a stadium of some sort. Ooh, I want to go down there and investigate later. But hang on, I gotta deliver your oranges first. I'm gonna come back for the, the other orange, hang on. It's telling me to go back for it. Yeah, see, because this is not working out right now. Okay, well, hang on. I have an idea. Put the crate down. Okay. 
And, uh, how, how exactly am I, am I gonna do this again? Okay, go here, extend it out, just reverse out of the way. Okay, I got an idea for something. I have an idea for something, I don't know if it's gonna work. And if it doesn't work, I will just restart the contract, okay? And try to be a bit more careful this time. I don't know, man, it kind of feels like those oranges have some very weird physics on them. They were just kind of rising out of the crate under Owen. Hang on a second. I must be able to. I gotta be able to grab you like this. Hang on. I want to try something out here. Just push it far down as possible. Okay, that is as far down as it can go. Okay, wait. Like this. Do, do, do. Oh no, I actually can't do this because they don't, uh... The, the claws don't move close enough to each other that I can pick the orange up. Damn it, dude! Okay, well... Oh, actually, wait a second. Not all hope is lost because look what I can do. Look what I can actually do. It doesn't need to be in the crate necessarily, right? Hang on. It doesn't need to be in the crate. I can just bring it to the to the bounding cube, right? I must be able to. Hang on. We're gonna do something here. Don't ever tell me that I do not have an imagination, okay? Look at this. Works just as well. Like I said, man, no orange gets left behind. What is this dude doing? Oh, he's trying to take a picture of the other astronaut. Look at that. Does that count? It does actually count! <laughs> Five hundred IQ play, dude. Five hundred IQ. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised that worked. I didn't know if it was going to. Okay, we got a steel beam now. Why are you guys just floating? You got jetpacks on you. You're holding a flag. Wait, what are you actually building here? I have no idea. Can you tell me what you're building? I still want to go and check out what that what that like uh. That steam factory over there is. I want to go and investigate that later. But hang on a second. I want to go and figure out, like, what these guys are doing here. Oh, yeah, you jump out of the way so that you don't... I, I don't, like, accidentally run over you guys. <laughs> okay, I get it. I understand. How you boys doing? Okay, so do you guys have a contract for me? That's not the right thing. Hang on. Oh, man, you got a lot of stuff, actually. Side jobs, a stepladder, supplies... Okay, well, what are the supplies? Because it's just the closest thing that I have to me right now. Uh, am I doing that right now? Okay, yeah, I am tracking it. Okay, then we'll we'll try and do this here. I don't know what this is exactly, but we'll we'll go and we'll go and investigate. Okay, <laughs> that is still really funny how that actually works. So it's not even. I don't know if it's even necessarily the crate. Is it just like the oranges that I have to get into that? That, like, clear space right there? I don't really know. But that was still funny, though. I didn't think that was going to work. So I guess the oranges don't need to be in the crate, then. You just move them over individually and it'll still count. That's kind of funny. Okay. Again, dude. 500 IQ play. I mean... I, I don't give up that easily, dude. I'm not the kind of person who gives up that easily. Alright. Pick up the supplies. This seems to be, like, the only thing that I have to actually pick up here. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, don't flip over. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Okay, hang on. I have to try and, like, realign myself here for a minute to try and get, like, right in between the, the, the box right here. Here we go. Uh, oh, please don't tell me that the box is actually too large for this machine. Don't even tell me that, sir. Ma'am, hang on a second. This might... Oh, actually, this might work a little bit better. Bring it up to, like, the middle. And then try to, like, uh... Then try to clamp it down, right? Maybe this will work? I uh, no, I have to try and lift it up first to see if it will. Oh, yeah, it actually... It seems like it kind of does. Oh, God, it's just hanging on by a thread, though. But it might still... It might still be okay. Oh, yeah, I think we will actually be okay. All right, go over this way, then. Go over this way. We actually have to go back to this like storage depot over here. Oh god, it's 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 spinning around. It's spinning around in my uh in my in my thing here, but it's not falling it's not falling off though. It's not falling off, which is good. Uh uh oh. 
Wait, what in the world is going on now? Hang on, I gotta- I gotta try and lower this, I think. Let me just- let me just ease off of it for a moment. Yeah, there we go. And I think go all the way down here, and then I think lift it? Or, or like, clamp it down now. I keep forgetting what, uh... What is the- okay, yeah, it's the D-pad. I keep forgetting it's the D-pad to switch channels. And then, uh, lift it up now, I think. That's not gonna go high enough, I don't think. Will it matter? Will it matter, though? I think it actually will matter. Uh-oh. This might actually be a problem now that I think about it. That's not gonna lift it high enough, dude. That's not gonna lift it high enough. Let me- let me look- let me look in here for a minute. Maybe we b can we build this higher, possibly? I actually have another servo motor now, I just realized. What is this other cylinder that we have? Okay, this is the hydraulic cylinder. Okay, so then, uh, let, let, let me let me think about this here. Oh, I actually can't put more things on- well, actually, no, I can buy more of these. What if I were to buy a few of these, and then just, I don't know, try to build this higher slightly? I don't even know if that would work, ultimately. Because I don't know... Well, I mean, there is also this thing to consider right here as well, though. This hydraulic cylinder in the center right here is controlling the, the, the claw's ability to, like, lift up and down. But it just... just hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on a minute. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm thinking of, 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 of something. I'm trying to think of something here. Do this. Give me that. Yeah, this thing is called a jaw. So then... Oh, what, what about this connector right here? There was a connector. Okay, it seems like the game does actually remember the color that I that I gave the other things beforehand, but I think that'll be fine for now. I do... I, I think I do need to, to, like, rotate this here so that it's, uh... There we go. It's a bit symmetrical. Let me just look underneath. Okay, yeah, that, that seems fine. Okay, I don't know if that's actually gonna make it lift higher, though. I, I should try it. Uh, I can't tell if that went higher or not. But I mean, the hydraulic cylinder does still work. Unless I can push this out even further now. Is that what it did? Is that what it actually did? Okay, I don't know how this even works at all, because it doesn't seem like we're even... even close to, like, actually grabbing the box, but... Hang on. I gotta, like, realign myself here for a minute. Okay, here. That th This looks fine. I don't know if this is being lifted higher, though, or not. I don't know if I'm actually d doing this correctly. I don't believe I am. Do 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 No, it's still lifting at the exact same... The exact same height as before. Well, there is also this idea that I have. Get big air off of one of those rocks and just fly into the bounding cube. I don't think any of these rocks are anywhere near close enough to me, though, but... God, I don't- I don't know. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll come back to this later. I think you guys also said you wanted a stepladder delivered as well. I don't know, maybe- maybe- maybe I can- that- that'll be like an easier job for me to handle. Cause I don't- I- I haven't really gotten the hang of this, uh, uh, of these damn jaws right now. I don't know what exactly I'm doing here. How about we go and deliver this stepladder instead? I have to- oh, I have to actually deliver it to that steam factory, I think. Okay, so we can finally actually, like, go and visit that place. And I would like to. I'd like to see what exactly is going on over there. So let's- let's go and do it then. Might have to change back into another- another thing. Well, actually... This could work... like this. Possibly. Yeah, it's gonna- okay, it's gonna snap onto the- onto the legs of the- of the stepladder, like the sides of it. This- okay, this might actually work. The only problem is that I need to go up a hill in order to get to the steam factory. I could probably drive around that as well, though, but I mean... Okay, this might actually be easier. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh! Okay, actually... actually... Worked a lot better than I thought it would. I thought I was just gonna, like, flip over instantly, but I guess- I guess not. It works just as well. Okay. That's fine. I'll bring you your- your stupid stepladder, then, in that case. We'll just go and do that. I wanna try and drive carefully and not try to, like, bend- flip over like that! Okay, wait. Wait a minute. It's okay. Uh... It might not actually be okay. Never mind, it'll be okay. <laughs> 
Oh, the the power of physics-based games, dude. Physics-based games are always are always a, an absolute joy. Oh god, the air time. Okay, no, actually, it didn't. It didn't mess up. We're still fine. Like it didn't. It didn't. It didn't come loose. We're still okay. We're still okay. Oh my god, man. How in the world? Okay, this is the steel mill. Fast travel unlocked. Just hauling this in like one arm. Oh my god, dude. How did this even work at all? Okay, well, you did give me $90 for that at least. I got $200 now. Very good. Is there nothing else that I can explore in the steel mill right now? Probably not. Okay, well that's fine then. I guess what else should we do now? Oh, the air time, though. Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, the, the arms do kind of prevent me from flipping over a little bit now. Which I don't know if I necessarily like. Because I would like to just see this thing kind of tumble down the hill. Oh, my lord. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, just relax for a moment. I don't... I, I'm not sure if I, if I like the fact that the wheels are so wobbly as well. They're so wibbly-wobbly. Hang on a second. Get some air time off this, off this little this little mound right here, this little mountain, this little mini mountain. Why did I say mound? I don't know, it looks like an anthill of some sort. Just a giant ass anthill. Oh goodness. Just sliding across on three wheels. Goodness me, okay. So what was the other thing that they, they wanted? They wanted a steel beam, they said. Sure, I can get you to steel beam as well. This is like one of the main contracts. I have to bring it back over there, yeah. But where exactly is the thing? Oh no, it actually is back at the steel mill. Oh, okay, I should have just I should have just stayed there. Okay, this thing I could probably I could probably latch onto with the jaws as well, right? Probably. Hang on, let me let me just let me just run all the way back there for a moment. Try to go and grab that that beam. I guess if I really wanted to, I could also just ignore all of the other contracts. I could barely even turn there. <laughs> I, I guess if I wanted to, I could also ignore all of the other contracts and just go and explore. Because there seems to be another thing that's emitting steam over that way. But we'll go and check that out in just in just a, a, a little bit. Go we'll check that out in a little bit. Okay. Um. Well, there's a little thing that I could I could possibly push the a, a little a little claw into. With with the blueprint for the other thing that I have, the other vehicle that I possess. But I mean, this could potentially work as well. Hang on, let me let me just try it. I just want to try something out here. Clamp down on it. Oh well, this may. Oh, this may not actually. No, this may. This actually may. Maybe I don't need the claw. The the little tiny claw. To put in the in the center and just like lift it up. Okay, this is actually gonna end badly though. Oh, maybe it won't. Oh, maybe it won't. Oh, maybe it will. Oh, it probably won't. Okay, wait. If I just go, like, super slowly, it won't. It won't end badly. God, th I'm using this like a battering ram now, almost. Okay. We just need to drive back to the other place where they're suddenly building, uh, building like, another giant, uh, giant building of some sort. I, I was trying to come up with a different word other than building. I don't know, maybe they're building another gigantic factory over here? Okay, this the, the most of the terrain here is actually like fairly flat, so that's fine. Okay, that I mean that was that was simple enough. That was simple enough, honestly. I mean we made it back on Skayev. Um Wait, is that Bro, you mean to tell me that I need to like uh, okay, well this is the steel beam. This is the steel beam that you want. Okay, do I actually need to rotate this? Oh god, I actually need to to make it face upwards. Okay, well then I might actually need the 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 other claw thing for this. What was that? What was that part called? I keep forgetting. It was called. Uh, oh no, it literally was called a claw. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I may actually need to use the claw for this. I may actually need it. Yeah, because for some reason this is not this is not uh, this is not counting. Okay. Well then, blueprint. I mean, this is just a watering can lifter, but I mean, it could still work. It could still very much work. So just hold on a moment. Because I, what I was thinking is that I could lift it down like this and just lift it up. Oh, that's not gonna work either, bud. That ain't gonna work either. What in the world did I just do? 
Okay, wait. Maybe you gotta put some additional weights on the back of my car so that it balances out. Because this is just... Wow, this is actually not going to work. Well, maybe you know what the problem might be. Maybe the arm's just not long enough. Hang on. We're gonna go back for a minute. Maybe the real problem is that the arm is not long enough. This is absolutely gonna cause my, my rover to tip over. This is absolutely gonna cause it to tip over. But I'm, t I'm just trying something here, okay? It's not even really like trying to brute force it at all. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just being silly at this point. Oh god, yeah, there's... There's too much weight being applied to this thing, that's the problem. Okay, wait a second, the, 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 the claw moved all the way in. Okay, yeah, this is still, this is still not enough, yeah, it's because there's... It, it, it weighs way too damn much, I think that's the problem. There is no way that I could possibly rotate this so that it's standing up, like, using the crate carrier, right? Probably not. I could just use it as a battering ram instead. <laughs> okay, I also noticed that I do have another part right here called a bumper. I don't actually know what that is, though. If I were to place the bumper right here, yeah, but what would that what would that actually do, though? I don't exactly know what the what the what the purpose of the bumper is, unless it just prevents my rover from from falling over constantly. I don't really know, but um, okay, well. That was kind of interesting, because it was working at first, but then it didn't. Oh, look at these style points that I'm getting, though. Styling on them. Oh god, okay, I'm just making a mess of your, uh... I'm making an absolute mess of your construction zone now, I apologize. Oh god, I just knocked the flags down. Oh, I can't really knock the flags down here, actually. The arm is just not long enough. That's the problem. That's definitely not the problem. I don't know why my stupid ass brain thinks that that's somehow the issue here, but... Oh, well, I can at least drag it along like this. I mean, that does- that does in fact work. It's just whenever I- whenever I try to lift it up. Maybe I need additional reinforcement somehow. I mean, there are these bumpers, but... I don't- I don't know if these are actually, like, helping me at all in any capacity. I was thinking about maybe putting couple on the back, I don't know, just for, like, added weight so I don't fall over as much, but I don't- I don't think that's actually doing anything, honestly. What if we- what if we try making, like, a diagonal connector here for a minute? I don't know, just as, like, reinforcement, basically. Hang on, I'm trying- I'm trying to figure something out here. Yeah, I have to get this steel beam to- to- to stand upright. I'm trying to figure out how we do that exactly, because it's definitely not the arm. The arm is not actually helping us out in that regard. Making the arm making the arm longer is clearly not the solution. Not the solution that we're looking for here. Unless we just want to pop wheelies constantly, which is absolutely not what I want to do. Oh, what? Does that actually sort of work? What in the world? Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're almost at it. We almost got it. Yeah, no, oh my goodness gravy, what is happening? <laughs> okay, wait, I may have actually figured this out. So what I did was that I actually installed a hydraulic cylinder onto the claw arm. So I can lift it up and, yeah, I can lift up the claw arm like this. And I can enable the servo motor to rotate it. Okay, wait, I think we got something, though. That actually kind of worked at first. Okay, wait. Hold on. I think we have this solved, almost. I think I figured out the problem here. We need a- we need a cylinder. We need a cylinder for this. That's- that's the problem here, okay? We gotta put this in. We gotta insert it. We gotta lodge it firmly into into the little opening right here right and then change a the channel lift up and then i think what i did before was that i actually kept rotating it that kind of worked though at first okay see i think the issue is that i'm not even close to like being in the center of the thing right here i think that's the that's 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 the problem hang on I, I feel like I basically solved this, though. I, it's just a matter of trying to get it directly in the in the center of this box right here. 
but I think other than that, I basically solved this one. <laughs> it's a relatively basic build, yes, I will fully admit that, but like, it- it- it seems to work. It actually works a lot better than I- than I expected it to. Like, honestly, all things considered. So just like, lift, and then just, like, go in reverse. Oh my god, please, dude. Like, you have no idea just how close I am to solving this. I feel like I did basically solve this. I'm just trying to get in the- in the proper position here. I also want to try and, like, bring this directly into the center so that this can actually work... ...correctly. Like, bring this up, and hopefully the- the- the arm stays firmly lodged in its hole. That's right, I- I did that one on purpose. Here we go, uh, possibly... Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Uh, oh my god, dude, but then it starts tipping over. At- at the very end. Oh my god, wait, it- it keeps coming back, though. I, why does it keep coming back? Wait a second, I'm so close to solving this. Go the- the other way with it. Oh my god, it's- it's all twisted in a knot now. What happened here? Oh my lord. Is that not actually counting at all? Why is that not counting? What are the- what are the requirements for getting this thing firmly lodged in- in the box here? I actually don't know. I can't tell. I need to zoom out here for a minute. Okay, here we go. This is actually gonna give me a better view of this. I mean, that is basically... Come on, man. That's like... that's basically in. Right? Am I right or am I right? Oh my lord, have mercy. <laughs> well, hey, I can actually correct it pretty easily by doing- by just doing that. Okay. Maybe I'll just use this camera angle, because this will give me, like, a much better idea as to what I'm, uh, as to what I'm dealing with here. Because, like... I mean, come on, man. This is basically... This is basically what I- what I need to do. Right? Here. Oh my god, is it actually- Oh wait, maybe I need to- hang on. I probably need to, like, bring it back down, right? Because it's extended all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just probably lift it back down slightly. Probably what I gotta do. Okay, wait. I'm surprised it's actually staying calm right now. It's staying in position. Oh my god, I basically have it, dude. Okay. Retract. Retract it. Yes! There we go. Okay, well I did- I did eventually figure that out. It's basically connecting the claw to a hydraulic cylinder instead of a... Well, well, I was gonna say instead of a servo motor, but I think I am actually using a, ser a servo motor on this. Yeah, I am. Okay, but I'm just using the cylinder to, like, lift it upwards and then... Yeah, so I can- I can actually, like, lift the- the steel beam upwards and then I can kind of rotate it then by moving the arm around like this. Yeah. So, I mean, it- it, it worked. It worked at the end of the day, so... <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I mean, I- I did at least figure that out on my own, so what are you guys trying to make here? Did it say that you're trying to construct a telescope? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, trying to look out at the stars on Mars. Oh, this is an elevator. Where's the elevator taking me? I would like to see. I'm gonna check to see what my- what my next task is in just a minute, but I want to see if I can get to the top of this. Oh yeah. We're at the very top of the unfinished telescope right now, but still. Gives us a better- a better view of the landscape right here. I still want to go and see what that building is down there, especially since it kind of seems like there's... something moving around down there. Almost looks like a satellite dish of some kind? I can't really tell, but it kind of looks like there's something rotating down there. Oh yeah, and I can- I can zoom the camera out again to get an even better view of my surroundings. Indeed. Okay, well then, what is my next task? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. The telescope mirror? This unlocks the dune buggy. Okay, maybe we can go and give them their telescope mirror and then unlock the dune buggy. But then maybe what I'll do after that is, just because I've been playing this for a while already, maybe I'll just go exploring. I'll just go free roaming with the dune buggy instead of, like, trying to get any contracts done here. Maybe that's what I'll try to do instead. Oh, we actually need to go down there now. Okay, here's- I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid, but it's gonna look really cool. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Let's just go down- no, 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 I'm not even gonna- I'm not even gonna follow the path here. 
I'm not following the path. Okay, never mind. I guess it's gonna force me to follow it. No, I, I refuse. I follow my own path, dude. Goodbye. There we go. Did that, that down over there is just a rock. Okay, there we have it. Oh, wow, we actually did stick the landing, though. So I guess, I, I guess these rovers don't actually take damage. There's no, like, vehicle damage in this game. Okay, I want to see how I can get into this, this dome right here. I'm not going to be able to jump into it. Wait, I might have to go around. This is the laboratory. Oh, there's people in the laboratory. Yeah, fast travel unlocked. Where is the entrance to the lab, though? Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, there's the telescope. Okay, the telescope mirror, specifically. So, uh, I can probably not use this to pick it up, could I? Well, hang on, we can... That's not gonna go high enough. Oh, okay, that's definitely not gonna go high enough. Well, I mean... T oh, God, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if we're necessarily going to be able to to use the... the What was this called? The crate carrier? I don't know if we're going to be able to use that. Maybe I can just save the design. Wait, save the slot? Yeah, there we go. The hydraulic cylinder with the... with the claw instead of the jaws. Maybe I can just... I can just save that for now. What is this crate carrier going to do? This is not going to... It, it's not gonna extend far enough, I don't think. Oh, it might not. It probably won't. But hang on. <laughs> can we just... Can we just grab the side of the leg right here? No, we... No, no, we actually can't. We actually aren't gonna be able to do that. I mean, can we literally just push it? <laughs> all the way back to, uh... Wherever we need to go? Oh yeah, we need to go all the way back to the telescope, though. Um, this... <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on a minute. I mean, I guess we could, but if we can- if we can just try to get it away from the wall... Yeah, I don't know, do we want to try and, like, brute force this? Somehow? Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to, because now I think it's just stuck completely. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Okay, I'll tell you what. Just push it. Just push it, then. In that case. Oh my god, it slides around like a freaking hockey puck, dude. What is that? What is that all about? It's like no friction on this, almost. I mean, it, 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 it could probably work well enough. We just have to push it up the hill, though. Like, that's literally all we gotta do. Okay, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I swear I'm not trying to brute force this, just so you guys know. I mean, just the fact that this, this actually even kind of works is just hilarious to me. Hang on. Yeah, how does this even work in the slightest? How does this work at all? I have no idea. It just does. Because physics, that's why. Oh my god. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I'm getting I'm getting slowed down by this all of a sudden. Yeah, it's stuck it's stuck in between my my jaws now, actually. I got it stuck in between somehow. Oh, can I go up the hill with this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I actually can. Don't know how that works. Yeah, alright, let's just... Oh, I need to call the elevator back down. I, I forgot about that. It doesn't actually come back down on its own. Okay, wait. Boop! Hang on. We can, we can, we can get this done somehow. Oh my god, dude. The, the, the turning on this. Wait, I need to reorient myself. I don't know where I am. Here I... How is... I don't know how this is gonna work, but... da na na Da -na -na. Oh god, don't leave without me, please. Oh, uh, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is a thing. This is a thing that is currently uh, occurring. Currently occurring. Amazing. Well, this is just... <laughs> okay, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute, buddy boy. No, 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 no. You ain't leaving without me. You're not leaving without me. Hang on. I gotta get up there as well. Just hold your friggin' horses for a minute. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't trigger the button again. Please don't. Okay, it doesn't. Can I just, like, move you off that very slightly? So that way you're not actually, like, pressing the button constantly? Okay, here we go. There. Now it's not, uh, it's not being, it's not being put- Well, actually, wait a second. I need to push it onto the, the, the thing, though. I should have pushed it forward slightly. Oh my god. 
I am trying so hard to brute force this right now, it's unreal, but I'm just surprised that this even kind of worked, honestly. Here, maybe what we can then do is get, uh... Hang on a second. Maybe the watering can lifter, or I could even- I could even use one of my own blueprints, like this one. Yeah, get this again. I don't know, just to see if maybe it'll work. Well, actually, this- this is not gonna extend far enough, cuz... Okay, well, actually, how about we just go back down for a minute so I can try and test something out here? Like... Oh yeah, this is not gonna go in far enough, is it? It probably won't. Can I just clip the side of the dish right here and probably, like, haul it with me? No, that may not work. That may not actually work. Okay, hang on a second. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, why in the world did the elevator not come down all the way? Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm just wasting so much time right now, but hang on. I'm just- I'm just- wanna try and get it- try and push it back on if I can. Yes, okay, it, it, it came down all the way that time. Okay, good. So, let me be on it as well at the same time. Okay, nice. I am on it at the same time as it. So, let's see if we can just drive... Drive all the way over there. With, with, with the thing in tow, hopefully. Never mind, that did not work in the slightest. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I gotta try and, like, drive around this button so that I don't activate it accidentally. Oh my god, which is easier said than done, because I feel like I have to do, like... I'm, I feel like I'm gonna need to do, like, a ten-point turn now in order to get this done. I need to make sure the wheel doesn't go off the side as well. Oh, Christ. Okay, hang on. I, I consider myself to be a relatively scrappy person. I can get this done. Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this ten-point turn that I'm doing right now. Okay, well, you know... Oh, well, look, it's it's right side up again, at least. <laughs> I absolutely despise my entire existence right now. Can you just go off the button for a moment, please? It still thinks you're hitting the button. Please, come on. Just nudge it a little further away. A little further away. Oh my god, that's still... How's that still not working? Come on. Yes? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but are you gonna, are you gonna, like, get flung off as you- Oh, no, you don't. Okay, you're, you're good. You're good, then. Okay, let me reorient myself quickly here for a minute. Oh, my god, please. Wait, why did it not, why did it not go up all the way that time? Oh, no. Why are you like this? <laughs> okay, this, this... Oh, no, you actually, you actually do cause it, cause the elevator to get stuck. Oh, my god. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm getting- I'm actually getting stressed out now. I straight up feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Hang on a second. Ah, but you know what I could do, though? This actually does give me an idea for something else. Hang on. Let me get my big arm back out here. Let me get the long arm back out. Hold on. Hold on. I know how to- I know how to deal with this. Do do do. And then put the claw back on. I can probably- yeah, g get the distance to actually- Hit it from over here. Okay, well, actually, hang on. Maybe... Hang on. Hang on. I know how to cheese this. I think I've unlocked the cheese. I, I see the cheese in my head. I'm going to concoct the cheese immediately. I'm going to put the cheese into action right now. The spicy cheddar cheese. Or I guess the spicy nacho cheese in this case. Hang on. D -d -d uh... God, this- this still might not be long enough. Hang on. We need to go longer. Oh, don't you even worry. I know exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> All of these steps just to get a damn telescope back to- back to base. My god, man. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I'm gonna fall off again. Or will I? Well, I mean, I'm basically stuck. Why do I do this to myself? Why am I like this, guys? Why the hell am I like this? Oh my god. Just reset. Fine, you know what? I'll just use the rest of my... Uh, I'll just use the rest of the... of the bolts here. Oh, they're just called hubs. Okay, well... Use the rest of the hubs. There we go. And see... see if that'll get us anywhere. This is putting a lot of weight on... on my... my... my rover, I feel, but... I think... I think we'll get it, right? This should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now I think what I want to do... Well, I don't know, could I... 
could I rebuild my rover while I'm on the elevator and it won't like reset my my thing all the way back down to the surface? I am going to hope that is what it ends up doing. Like, I, I hope it doesn't reset me back down to the surface and I'll just remain on the elevator. Because I was thinking of just getting this back out. Okay, it puts me in front. But I think that's okay. Because I think I can just do this now. Possibly. Just back out in front. Hang on a second. I'm trying to get this perfect if I can. <laughs> God, I, I go through all these steps just to get a damn telescope back, man. I'm I'm committed to the cheese, though, at least. You can't fault me for being committed to the cheese whiz. Okay, I'm trying to initiate like a 5,000 point turn right here. And I'm trying, trying my best to... There, not, like, line myself back up while not falling over. Okay, this is, this is basically perfect, man. Go, go with it. Go with it. Yeah! We got it back! <laughs> okay, so we did get another achievement. Builder, complete your first construction project. We got the telescope completed now. Look at that. Look at that, dude. That's probably not how you're supposed to complete that, but I just figured... I, I just wanted to see if it was possible. Observatory completed, got $200. There we go, we got the dune buggy now. Can I go in the... The thi wait, rocket fin? Okay, that's a new contract. Uh, oh, a crate of apples as well? Want me to bring back a crate of apples? An umbrella? Oh my god, we got a lot of new contracts here, I see. Okay. What is the- what is the- oh my god, wait, I have six things in my inbox now? Steel pipe, watering can, another watering can, and potatoes. $333, but it's 5.7 kilometers away. Steel pipe. Wait, this is one of the main main requests right here. Okay, well, what do you want me to do with the with the crate of apples exactly? Where even is that? Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh, it's way off in the distance, actually. Okay, well, this is a great idea for uh yeah, dune buggy. Sounds like a job for the dune buggy. Or it probably would be easier to navigate with the dune buggy. Oh, good lord. Am I gonna stick the landing? I actually might. Oh, I'm definitely not going to. Well... I tried. <laughs> it just reset my vehicle here. Okay, wait, it's all the way off in the distance over there, though. Why is it so far away? Well, either way... I think I'm just gonna, like, maybe roam around here now. Yeah, okay. I, I definitely cheese that last uh, that last objective that I was supposed to fulfill, but I just wanted to see if I could make it work, man, and I actually did. I had to like fiddle around with it quite a bit, but it worked out eventually. That's probably not what you're supposed to do though with that objective, but I just wanted to see if it was possible. I think other than that though, guys, is I, I think this video is basically done now. Because there's not really anything else that I would like to that I would like to check out in this game. I think you guys get the whole gist. It's basically like another physics-based sandbox game where you can effectively create your own rovers. Create your own rovers in order to perform uh, specific tasks for all the the astronauts that are trying to like build a base on uh, on their new home planet here. God, what in the world is this dune buggy doing? I, I understand that this is supposed to be like a roll cage, but man, I feel like the roll cage is kind of holding me back here a little bit, just, just very slightly. Oh my actual goodness, man. Yeah, it seems like the crate of apples is very far away for some reason, I don't know why. I also don't know why this thing keeps flipping over so, so easily. Oh my god, this is very rugged terrain though, I gotta say. Well, I guess I guess while I'm 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 trying to travel over here, I I might actually just end the video now, guys. Yeah, I I, I think I should. I I think I get the whole point of this game anyway. Oh my god, I can barely drive on this damn terrain. Wait, signal weak? What do you mean? Extend your signal range by discovering new transmitters. Oh, I, I'm so far out here that I I I can't even like can't even communicate with the with the. Like, I, I, I can't communicate with my dune buggy? Or, or, like, can't communicate with my rover anymore? Oh god, it is getting very difficult to see. 
Oh god. Okay, so there's there's more transmitters that I need to find as well here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I don't I don't know where where we are exactly. I think I need to fast travel back to uh fast travel back to uh the the base over here. Oh wait, there is actually another transmitter down over there. Yeah, I can fast travel back to this transmitter over here. Okay, yeah. And then there was there there was something else that I saw. Yeah, this this transmitter over here. Am I going the correct way? I think it's over this way. Okay, so I need to find more transmitters to extend my signal outwards so that I can actually drive all the way over to those places. Okay, so, in other words, I basically can't go over there right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, but other than that, guys, I think I pretty much get the whole point of this game. So, you're just trying to create rovers, trying to fulfill different, uh, different tasks for your, your Martians here. I guess they are Martians now, but I'm assuming they were, they are astronauts that originally came here from Earth. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's that's their actual purpose for being here. Trying to establish a new home on Mars, and you're just trying to help them along with that. You get money in order to build, uh, or like, well, you get money in order to to receive more parts that you can use to build uh, different rovers in order to accomplish different tasks. Okay, well, I actually did sort of land that. Okay, never mind. I did not land that at all. Spoke a little bit too soon there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it right now. Like, obviously it's not finished yet, because it is still in early access, so... There is very likely going to be a lot more content that's added into the game eventually, but... As it stands right now, it's, uh, yeah, a pretty interesting concept for a sandbox game. I do think that this game does have co-op support as well, so... You can play this game with with multiple people. So if you want, you can have a friend helping you out with uh, building rovers and what have you. Okay, I did find this transmitter. So what do I do with the transmitter? Oh, I just I just run into it and it and it just uh, it just activates it automatically. Okay. How much of the map did I uncover by doing that though? Oh, there's another transmitter down there. Oh, and another one down that way. Oh my God, yeah. There's a lot of them that I need to discover though. There seems to be something all the way... Oh, up there. Oh, okay, that's, uh... Okay, so the different colors here means that... Okay, so... The different colors here also indicate, like, the, the height of the different parts of the terrain. So, if it's more purple like this... Then, yeah, that means the higher the elevation. This is like an elevation map as well. Oh, yeah, this that's absolutely what this is. Again, I do believe that all the terrain in this game is procedurally generated, if I'm not mistaken. So, I do believe that if I create a new save file right now, then all of this terrain will actually appear different. Let me see what this photo mode is right here. Share, uh, hide the user interface. Wait, I can change the time of day? Okay, let me bring it back up to morning. Here, I don't know, am I gonna try, am I gonna try and do something right here where I'm gonna try and like, try and create a scene right here where I'm trying to like, uh, l yeah, like create, trying to find the, the best possible scene for creating the, the thumbnail for this video, possibly? Wait, there's a coloring in mode as well? Wait, I don't, what the hell is that? Coloring in mode? Here, this might be what I use for the, the thumbnail for this video, possibly. I will admit that it is a little bit finicky to try and move this around with the PS4 controller, like with the analog stick here, the right analog stick specifically, but I think this is good enough, right? And I mean, it doesn't help that I'm also very finicky with my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this will do. This will probably be used for the thumbnail, most likely. What the heck is coloring in mode? Ooh, okay. That's also kind of neat as well, though, because this also, this almost kind of looks like an illustration of some sort. It's just like the the outline of the of the graphics here. That's really cool actually. That's actually a really neat effect though. Like honestly, it it looks like it was hand drawn. It almost looks like concept art in a way. And then I can just re-enable it with Yeah, I can just switch this on and off with the triangle button. It's pretty cool. Kind of unfortunate that the radio signals from the transmitter don't appear in the coloring and mode. Yeah, they just disappear immediately. But it keeps the tire tracks though. The tire tracks kind of look like little staples to me. I don't know, am I the only one who sees that? It's like you're leaving behind a bunch of little staples all across the Martian terrain here. Looks kind of strange, but still. 
I like this game's sense of style. Like I said before, it does very much feel like a... Uh, like a Mobius comic of some sort. Again, if you've seen the video that I did on Sable a while back, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. This is a very cool style of cel-shaded graphics that I really wish more games would actually try and use. You know, this more like abstract sort of cel-shaded art style. Not the sort of cartoonish cel-shaded art style that Jet Set Radio is known for. It's not exactly the same. But yeah, I can at least say that I definitely like this game's sense of style for absolute sure, man. Like, this... this looks really cool. Like, honestly. I mean, yeah, the terrain does look very barren out here, as you can see. Uh, not a lot of detail to, to, to be seen here on the terrain, although I do like that you can, you can still see the tracks from even all the way over there. You can see the exact direction from where you, from where you came. That's still pretty damn cool, though, how the tire tracks actually seem to stay there and they don't, like, disappear at all. Or maybe they do, it just takes a long time for them to fade out, but either way, the fact that they remain there for so long is really damn neat. I like that. So you do kind of have, like, a very basic form of, uh, terrain deformation here, basically. Doesn't seem like I can really do anything else with this- with this photo mode, though. Oh, I can't go up the mountain, unfortunately. Okay. Well, either way, we'll just- we'll just get out of that for now. Yeah, I- I don't really know what else to do here. I- I think I'm just gonna park my dune buggy on top of this mountain right here. And I think I will just end the video off now. Yeah. I do believe that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, that's actually also kind of neat as well. Yeah, so it just shows you where exactly you last left off, and then you can just- you can just resume from there. Okay, yeah, well, I'm- I'm done now, okay? I'm done. I just feel like the last five minutes I've been rambling non-stop, so... I'm very sorry for that, guys, but I am going to try and end the video off. I do actually like this game quite a bit. I like the amount of creativity that it gives you for creating, uh, different rovers. A lot of the jobs that you're assigned to kind of feel like puzzles that you need to solve, and part of that involves creating the appropriate kind of rover to get the job done. Or if you're like me, you can just try to unleash as much cheese as possible, like I did with that telescope mirror, but I just wanted to see if I could do it. And it turns out, I can. I really like the game's sense of style as well. I really do like this sort of, these sorts of cell shaded visuals. Very Mobius-esque. Definitely reminds me of Sable in a way. I definitely like the open-ended nature of this game as well. Like, like the game is essentially open world. It's like an open world sandbox game of some kind. Again, I do believe that the terrain is procedurally generated, so if you guys go and play this game and create a new game of your own, I don't believe you're gonna get the same terrain generation as I did. I think it will be different. I mean, I guess I could create a save game right here. I am just using my keyboard now for just a minute. Yeah, a save game right here. Oh, it even tells me how long I've traveled for, or how far I've traveled. 50 kilometers? Very nice. Oh yeah, also, I'm recording this at almost midnight, by the way. Because <laughs> I have completely lost control of my life. Okay, well then I'm kind of curious. What if I make- what if I make a new game here? Is it gonna give me, like, different terrain? Okay, well I don't remember if the terrain looked exactly like this, though. Okay, so then... Then let me go and create a new save game quickly. Or- or maybe load up my other- my other save game quickly. Let me look at the map over here and see if the terrain looks different. Oh, it's actually not. It's the same terrain. Okay, well, I assume that it was procedurally generated, but... Because I, I thought that's what the, the Steam description said, unless I completely misread that. Okay, yeah, I, I went and looked at the game's description on Steam again, and it does say that the surface of Mars is procedurally generated in this game. Unless, like, this starting area right here is not. Maybe the starting area is the same every single time, but maybe beyond that it becomes procedurally generated? I, I don't really know. Because my understanding was that maybe the map in this game is technically infinite, but I don't know, maybe it just generates the exact same infinite map every single time. Maybe it's just one map, but that map is, like, technically endless? I don't really know how this works, honestly. But either way, I really need to try and end this video now, so... If you guys want to go and purchase Mars First Logistics, I will be providing the link in the description. I think the game is only available on PC at the moment. You can only get it on Steam. It's $25. So, again, it is a little pricey, but given how much content already appears to be in the game at the moment, 
maybe it's worth that price right now? I, I don't really know. I'm still unsure as to whether or not uh, people should be paying $25 for this game, just given the state it's currently in, but I don't know. If you like these sorts of physics-based sandbox games that gives you a lot of freedom over the kinds of vehicles that you can create, then I, I would say give it a shot. I mean, I've certainly enjoyed what I played so far, but yeah, I'm gonna need to see uh, where exactly the developers of this game take this. And by that, I mean I really want to see how exactly uh, the game gets developed over time and like what, what additional features get added, because I don't really know how much you can actually do in the game right now, but we'll see what they add to the game as time goes on, and I will definitely be keeping my eyes on this game for sure. I'll be keeping track of this game's development from this point onwards for sure. I guess I could also look at the, uh, the credits here very quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does actually seem like Ian McLarty has an entire team of people working on this game with him. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what I figured, honestly. Yeah, they have someone working on the 3D art and animation. They have a music composer. Uh, audio by Fulligan Sound. I don't know who those people are, though. Yeah, additional programming, user interface art, key art, the game logo, quality assurance. A uh, bunch of playtesters, including Terry Kavanaugh, apparently. Oh man, yeah, there's a lot of playtesters for this game right here. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there's also like, they, he also hired like entire marketing teams for this game as well. Legal services, accounting even? <laughs> Store page localization for just the different languages. Okay, well I guess that, that does make sense as well. Yeah, made with Unity. Other software that he used to develop the game as well. Supported by the Victorian government through Creative Victoria. Okay, well that's probably where he actually got the funding for this game from. Yeah, Free Play 2021 Sears Commission. Yeah, there's Outer Sloth. I guess Outer Sloth are publishing indie games from other developers now. Yeah, so that's that's what I figured. He has an entire team of people working on this game with him now, so it's it's not just Ian McLarty himself. There's like multiple people working on this game with him. That's what I thought. Well, I can at least say this. This is already shaping up, no pun intended, to be... Ian McLarty's most ambitious project to date so far, I would say. And yeah, I'm just interested to see where this goes, honestly. I'm I'm fairly excited to see where this goes, so I will definitely be keeping track of it from this point onwards. I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on this game now, because I really want to see how this game's development unfolds. But other than that, guys, I'm done for now. I've just been rambling non-stop for like the past 10 or 15 minutes now, and my brain has just melted entirely at this point, and I'm tired, and I need sleep, so I'm done. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will be seeing you in the next video I make. Later!